Russian Volunteer Corps Raid into Russia Putin's regime lost 51,064 square kilometers of territory. Russian volunteer troops fighting on the side of Ukraine continue to raid the Kursk and Belgorod regions. According to RBC Ukraine, the rebels managed to occupy some settlements near the Russian border and the Grey Zone has expanded during the week of fighting. Recall on March the 12th, it became known that the Russian border had been breached by fighters of the Freedom of Russia Legion, the Russian Volunteer Corps and the Siberian Battalion who are fighting on the side of Ukraine. These volunteer battalions have entered Kursk and Belgorod regions where they continue to fight, including attacks on the Russian occupiers' military facilities. From the first day of the operation, the Russian Volunteer Corps, the Freedom of Russia Legion and the Siberian Battalion claimed that they had managed to take control of Tyotkino in the Kursk region. But later, the volunteers clarified that they had taken only a part of the village and that fighting was still going on. Currently, the grey zone in the area of Tyotkino covers 11.29 square kilometers. Then, the grey zone has covered Glotovo and Kozinka in the Belgorod region and covers an area of 14.88 square kilometers. On March the 18th, Russian rebels announced that they had taken control of Kozinka. A flag was raised there. It should be noted that this village in the Grey Voronsky district has already been significantly destroyed by Russian aviation. Not so far from this area, a new grey zone has recently formed in the village of Gorkovsky, Belgorod region, with a size of 9.84 square kilometers. Thus, on March the 17th, the Siberian battalion reported that fighters together with Ichkarian volunteers entered the village and seized the administrative building. A few hours later, the rebels claimed that the settlement was under their control and raised the flag. Very close to the village of Gorkovsky, Russian volunteer troops also occupied the border village of Lozovaya Rudka. The grey zone there is currently not large, 0.34 square kilometers. In addition, the village of Nekoteevka in the Belgorod district also fell under the grey zone. We are talking about an area of 1.57 square kilometers. The Russian authorities also lost control of the village of Novaya Tavolzanka in the Belgorod region. The grey zone there is 13.72 square kilometers. In total, the grey zones in the Belgorod and Kursk regions cover 51.64 square kilometers. Freedom of Russia Legion volunteers vow to end Putin's reign in last election raid. Alexei Baranovsky, a volunteer from the Freedom of Russia Legion, commented on the raid that continues in the Belgorod and Kursk oblasts against the backdrop of the sham presidential elections in Russia during a Radio NV broadcast. We still have enough surprises, Baranovsky said. At the moment, the military leadership has not decided when this special liberation operation will be completed and whether it will be completed at all. Now, we are working according to the schedule. The last election day is in full swing. It's hard to announce yet. But the fighting is on and we are not going to stop there. He also said that the soldiers are fighting with the understanding, if not us, then who? Someone has to do the dirty work to destroy Putin and his regime. It will not be Ukrainian soldiers. Ukraine will liberate its territory, return Crimea, Donbass and all occupied territories within the 1991 borders. But for us, the war will not end. We will have to go on and finish off this bastard in its heart, in its lair. Asked whether Putin was afraid of them, the Freedom of Russia Legion fighter said, if they used to ignore all our raids, in any case, this is the first time Putin has commented twice which means that it at least causes him some discomfort below the back. I don't know if this burning sensation will turn into fear sooner or later, it will. But the very fact that Putin is commenting is a sign that we are on the right track. Vladimir Vladimirovich, wait! Russian volunteers from the Freedom of Russia Legion, the Russian Volunteer Corps and the Siberian Battalion announced a new operation in Russia's Belgorod Oblast on March the 12th. The Russian Volunteer Corps claimed to have advanced several dozens of kilometers and taken prisoners. Moscow reported casualties among the Russian army. Russia's unlawful, staged presidential elections have been held over three days in occupied Ukrainian territories where occupation authorities have employed various tactics to prop up voter turnout. 